In this video, we're going to cover the top five ways that AI will impact on procurement in 2025. I think 2025 is going to be an incredibly wild year for it. So let's get into this. AI is transforming procurement. It's currently transforming sales, marketing, product, coding. Every single area of every business is being impacted. I would say largely in a positive way with AI. But when I talk to procurement about it, or when I see people posting on LinkedIn, they seem to think that procurement is detached from this new reality, this new world. And the truth of the matter is, it's not. It is, if anything, more ripe to be impacted by procurement AI than any other area. And we've currently got cars driving themselves, we've got robots coming. We've got lawyers of different areas that in the physical supply chain world that are going to be impacted by AI and robotics just in day-to-day -day procurement, which is largely taking data, putting it into larger data sets and then doing stuff with it, whether it's RFX, whether it's performance reviews, whether it's cost consolidation. Let's face it, when it's safe. And it just makes me laugh every time I see people saying, yeah, but you need humans because there's relationships. You don't need relationships if you've got two AIs talking to one another, getting the best deal. Let's get into the, the, the top five ways though. Now, before I go too far down this rabbit hole. So, the first one, and I kind of just alluded to it, AI agents for procurement. I am incredibly bullish on this. I've actually been playing around with my own AI agents. I'm probably gonna try and code my own real soon. Super excited by it. And Damesh from HubSpot actually created his own AI workforce that you can go and hire. And I've been playing around with those. Super, super exciting stuff. And I also did some work earlier this year with Kavita.ai, a really cool tech startup in the UK who are doing incredible things with agent workforces. And this is the kind of world that really gets me excited because these agents will work 24 seven based on a bunch of rules, but then also being able to make their own judgment calls within the guidelines. And it doesn't mean they're gonna go off rogue, do whatever they want. Like these are really stupid arguments that I see people making. Like there's normally going to be a human in the loop and that human in the loop will control an army, let's say, of these AI agents. And this is why I think it's really going to impact on the profession because when we can replace people who are doing all these tasks with AI agents and maybe just have like one person for every 10 people, I'm just giving an arbitrary number there. We're gonna suddenly have a, a, a job shortage in the procurement space. Only the very best people who understand how to use all of this technology and do all of these things will have a role. And some people will take this seriously, some people won't. But if I was you and I was working in an organization right now that's not using tech, I'd be looking at every no code, low code solution on the market. That isn't necessarily procurement tech, just to string together a bunch of different processes and make something really cool happen in the background so you can focus on more strategic initiatives. Maybe it's saving more money with a vendor. Maybe it's working on an underperforming set of suppliers. Really, there's so many different options for you, but you're probably quite far away from having these agent workforces in some of your organizations. For some of you, you're probably already deployed them right now. And I would love to know how that's going in the comments below. Before we move on to tip number two, I just want to give a quick introduction. My name is Daniel Barnes and I used to work in procurement, the contract management supply chain for about eight or so years before I moved to Gatekeeper, where I do so much different stuff now, uh, especially on the product side, marketing side, it's really exciting. And these are the ideas that, and the reasons I made this water procurement YouTube channel. It's the reason I made the AI procurement blueprint Substack, and I've been making content since 2019 about procurement technology. These things really, really excite me. I've spoken to dozens and dozens, maybe, I don't know, hundreds of different technology companies in this space. I've seen so many different solutions. I'm just excited by this. I used to be called effectively a madman who knew nothing about procurement when I started talking about these things. So to finally start to see it all coming through and being adopted is incredible. But I'll get off my horse now, uh, the English saying, I'm going to go into I'm going to go into the second way in which procurement will be impacted by AI and that's in risk management. Imagine having a specific supplier you want to work with but instantly being able to get results around their credit worthiness, their cyber health, the sustainability ESG, add in any other data point you need to know. This is a reality today and I think people are finally starting to hear about this and to realize what's possible that you can do 
huge amounts of checks on your vendor just by having something like their name, their URL, their company code for you know something like Companies House in the UK, their identification numbers. It's so, so easy. There's so many solutions on the market that have hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of data points. They're running nonstop 24 seven. They go through various layers of typical IP knowledge that they don't share and they give you some sort of score. It's incredible. We are seeing this time and time again. We see this at Gatekeeper actually. We use something called Market IQ as a product we've built and it aggregates all these scores, and just tells all our customers like, yeah, this supplier has an A rating on their finance, but their, their cyber score is a D, <laughs> which means they're very likely to get hacked. So do as you need to with them, but if you're gonna give them sensitive data, it's probably a bad thing. It's really cool to see this all coming through. And I think risk management has been underserved within the procurement profession, within procurement teams for so long. We're just making it so much easier for people to do really cool stuff in this space. And the third way in which AI is going to impact procurement is on everything related to contract management, whether it's drafting new contracts, reviewing contracts, extracting data from contracts, telling you what's going to happen after you've signed the contract. All of this is going to be hugely disrupted by AI. Every CLM in the market right now is looking at how AI can address these various problems. It's something that I look at at Gatekeeper, pretty much every week right now. And it's just marvelous to see this because everyone hates working with procurement contracts. But let's be honest, you've probably worked with legal on contracts and they've taken forever to do it. I have a couple of law degrees and uh, yeah, I, I love the profession, but they seem to hate doing this kind of work and they want to be doing all the other stuff. They just have to get on with the procurement contracts. This will free them up massively of all of this time and attention that they need to spend on there. Also let people in procurement who don't have that legal knowledge to review contracts comfortably and confidently and give confidence and assurance to the entire organization that this contract has been reviewed in the proper way. I'm incredibly excited for CLM, contract lifecycle management to be impacted by AI and then to have that impact on procurement teams so they can really move away from the day-to-day -day contract management work that just takes so much time. And I know the, the role that I had before joining Gatekeeper was head of contract management at FinTech. And I saw the writing on the wall like two and a half, three years ago. And I thought, you know what? The best thing I can do here is to leave and go influence the tech side just to make people like me out of the job even quicker because I'm genuinely excited by the freeing up of resources that will give to various organizations. So the fourth way in which AI is going to impact procurement is certainly negotiation. Man, this is the one that gets me fired up because this is the one where procurement professionals think they are absolved from it. They think people only negotiate with people. Right now, Solutions like Pactum AI are actually negotiating using an AI bot with a person by email, by a chat. The human doesn't even know most of the time that's what's going on. So this is happening today. But there's also more to it than that because there's absolutely going to be a need for a significant period of time to still have people leading on negotiations. But what AI allows us to do is surface data at the right moment at the right time. So it's very likely that we're about to see a whole range of different solutions that will show you live data, live insights when you're negotiating with a counterparty, with one of your suppliers that helps you navigate that negotiation. I'm really excited to see what providers in this space are going to be doing about that. And AI for data insights is the fifth way in which we're gonna see a radical transformation. And I actually spoke about this in my previous video. But the idea is we take a load of unstructured data, whether it's data that's in contracts locked away in that, business continuity reports, certifications, SOC 2, type 2 type things, uh, ISO, the list goes on, right? There may be various policies that you get from your suppliers that you have loads of golden nuggets in there, but it's just so hard to get it all out of there. Like as a human, just reading through hundreds of pages is mentally draining and exhausting. We can give this to AI. It can do it in typically seconds and take all of the data that we need from these things and compile it into a system of record. I'm so excited 
for what's about to happen in 2025 with this. I don't think any company's quite cracked this one just yet, but they're all working on it. I've seen progress on it. I'm really excited by it. And this will make a huge difference because it'll free you up from all of the horrendous admin and whilst being important work, absolutely so destroying work. And that's what we really want to benefit from with AI. And this is why I'm so bullish on it is that it should free us up from the mundane, the tedious, the repetitive nature of our jobs and let us unleash some creativity, some passion in what we do. If you found those five tips useful, please make sure you've hit that subscribe button. We see a crazy number of views now on this channel, but I think only something like 10% of you are actually subscribed, mainly because I wanna get the 100,000 subscriber button at some point and have it just, just here in the background. But let's just do a quick recap of this video. The five ways in which AI will transform procurement in 2025 are AI agents for automation work within procurement, smarter supply risk management, AI driven contract management, data backed negotiations and uh, AI led negotiation agents, which is, and I've been following this one for like four years and I'm bullish on it. And just getting incredible data insights from your suppliers, your supply chain, and all the documentation and work that you've been doing with them, taking the unstructured to a structured way of working. I hope you have found this useful. If you are using AI in procurement today, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you're doing. And before you go, make sure you check out this video here. It's all about the, the top skills you need in 2025 to crush procurement, to be one of the best in the procurement game. See you soon.